More than 10,000 migrants packed under Texas Bridge, number still rising. According to two top Department of Homeland Security officials, more than 10,000 migrants, the majority of whom are Haitians, are crammed under an overpass bridge in Del Rio, Texas, as U.S. border officers try to keep up with the influx. Many of the Haitian migrants did not travel directly from the island nation to the United States, but instead lived in South America before being transported to Del Rio via a popular smuggling route operated by a Mexican cartel, according to officials. The number of people crossing the bridge has risen dramatically in the last 48 hours, from roughly 5,000 on Wednesday to over 11,000 on Friday, according to officials. Migrants who arrive at the improvised processing center beneath the bridge are given emergency supplies such as water and infant formula before being processed and transferred to a border patrol station or ICE detention. Unless a migrant shows symptoms, Customs and Border Protection does not test them for COVID. In August, NBC News questioned Raul Ortiz, then Deputy Chief of CBP, why the agency doesn't test migrants at the same bridge in Del Rio. Because as you can see, we're already overburdened here, he said. Non-governmental groups test migrants when they leave CBP custody. The crowd under the bridge was around 100 people at the time. Due to natural disasters and political upheaval in Haiti, the Biden administration granted temporary protected status to Haitians already living in the United States in May. The order, however, does not apply to newcomers. Indeed, ICE has began deporting Haitians back to their homeland, angering campaigners who argue that given the country's turmoil, more people should be given a shot at asylum in the United States. If you haven't done yet, please subscribe our channel.